This video illustrates how to estimate materials for both concrete and masonry work. Welcome to Quantity Surveying. The problem defines both the concrete and the masonry works. The first part states, a 30-meter wall of 3 meters height is to be constructed to separate a lot from the neighboring areas. 0.3 by 0.3 meter columns are distributed evenly every 3 meters along the entire length of the wall, and each column has a 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.3 footing embedded 1 meter beneath the natural grade line and that's from the bottom of the footing. Use grade A mixture for concrete. This gives a complete view of the whole wall. The second part of the problem discusses the details of the wall, as it states, the wall is designed with five inches concrete hollow blocks, two layers embedment to the ground. Thickness of mortar for block laying is 25 millimeters, and plaster thickness on both faces is 16. Use grade B mixture for mortar and plaster. For us to start the estimate, let's have a clear picture of the whole wall, which is 30 meters length. We are to assume the length is measured on centers unless otherwise stipulated. There are columns of 0.3 by 0.3 meter dimensions every 3 meters. Thus, there are 10 spans of the wall and also 11 columns which go through the natural grade line until it is connected to the footing, which is placed 1 meter deep. Take note that the bottom of the footing is placed at 1 meter from the natural grade line. Furthermore, the footings have similar sizes of 0.5 by 0.5 meters with a depth of 0.3 meters. For the masonry details, we are to use 5 inches CHB and there are two layers of embedment. The wall is plastered on both faces. Let's start estimating the concrete works from the column. The column stands 3 meters from the natural grade line, but it is also placed in the premise that the bottom of the footing is 1 meter deep, thereby there is an additional length of the column beneath the grade. This is computed as 1 meter less the thickness of the footing. Now, the volume of the columns is computed as 11 columns multiplied by the dimensions of 0.3 by 0.3 and the total height of 4 meters minus the depth of the footing which is 0.3 meters. And this gives 3.663 cubic meters volume. Before we compute for the materials, remember that we are to multiply a wastage factor for concrete works, and since columns are poured in enclosed forms, the factor is 5%. Thus, the total volume of the column is taken as 3.84615 cubic meters. From this volume, we can estimate the materials with the instruction to use class A mixture, that is, Cement will be the volume of 3.84615 multiplied by 9 bags of cement per cubic meter to give 34.62 bags. Sand is estimated as the volume times 0.5 cubic meters sand, and that is 1.92 cubic meters. Then gravel is estimated as the volume multiplied by 1, yielding 3.85 cubic meters. Next is estimating the footing for each column. 
The total volume for the footings is computed as 11 pieces multiplied by the size 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.3 and that gives 0 0.825 cubic meters. This is again multiplied by the wastage factor and this time we consider 10% as footings are poured directly on the soil. So the total volume of concrete for the footings is 0 0.9075 cubic meters. With class A mixture, we get 0 0.9075 times 9 bags of cement requiring 8.17 bags for the footings alone. Sand is the same volume multiplied with 0 0.5 resulting to 0 0.45 cubic meters. And gravel has the volume times 1 requiring 0 0.91 cubic meters. The footing gravel bed is poured before the footing, and this is with a standard depth of 2 inches. With the 11 footings, the volume of the gravel bed is 11 multiplied by the footing area of 0.5 by 0.5, then multiply the gravel bed thickness of 2 inches or 0 0.05, and that is estimated as 0 0.1375 cubic meters. Now let's estimate the masonry works starting with the number of concrete hollow blocks. With the distance of the columns equal to 3 meters on centers, the clear span of the CHB wall is measured as 3 meters, less twice of half of 2 columns or that's twice of 0 0.3 meters divided by 2, which is equal to 2.7 meters. It was also stated that the height of the wall is 3 meters and there are another two layers embedded in the ground. So the total height for the wall is 3 meters plus two layers of 0.2 meters resulting to 3.4 meters. To take the number of CHB, we multiply the area of the wall by the factor 12.5 and that is 2.7 by 3.4 meters multiplied by 12.5 pieces of CHB per square meter, giving 114.75 pieces. These values just for one span between two columns, so we multiply this value by 10 spans to cover the whole wall, marking the number to 1,147.5 pieces. With the wall is also a wall footing. Learning already that the length of the wall in each span is 2.7 meters, the only things we need to know further are the depth and the width. And per standards, the width of the wall footing is twice the thickness of the CHB used, and its depth is the same as the thickness of the block. So the volume of the wall footing is computed as the depth of 0.125 meter multiplied by the width of 0 0.25 and the length of the span of 2.70 meters. This operation yields 0 0.084375 cubic meter. Multiply this value for the rest of the several spans of the wall, resulting to 0 0.84375 cubic meter. Using class B mixture, Cement is estimated as the volume multiplied by 7.5 bags, and that is 6.33 bags for the wall footing. Sand is 0 0.84375 times 0 0.5, and that is 0 0.43 cubic meter. Gravel is 0 0.84375 times 1, which is 0 0.85 cubic meter. Each footing requires a gravel bed to separate the concrete from the grate, and the volume for the wall footing gravel bed is 10 spans times the width of 0 0.25 meters, the thickness of 2 inches or 0 0.05 meters, and the length of the wall footing, which is 2.7 meters. The total volume for the wall footing gravel bed is computed as 0 0.3375 cubic meters. Next is the mortar for block laying. 
the length of the wall is already computed earlier as 2.7 meters, so we only need to identify the number of layers of CHB, and that is the total height of 3 meters divided by the height of each block, which is 0.2 meters. Then add two layers for the embedment, giving a total of 17 layers. So the total volume of mortar for block laying is 10 spans of 17 layers with the dimensions of the width of the wall, which is 0.125 meters, with a thickness of 1 inch or 0.025 meter, times the length of the wall, or that is 2.7 meters, resulting to 1.434375 cubic meters. With class B mixture, cement is computed as the volume times 12 bags per cubic meter and that gives 17.22 bags. Sand is also the volume multiplied by 1, which is 1.44 cubic meters. The mortar filler requires the dimensions of the cores of each block. With the height fixed at 0.2 meters and the length also fixed at 0.075 meter, the only dimension which varies is the thickness of the block. For the example, as it requires 5 inches thickness, the core is measured as 0.125 meter less twice of 1 inch for the block. So the thickness of the core is 0.0. 75 meter. With the volume of the core already defined, the total volume of mortar filler for the whole wall is computed as 1,147.5 pieces multiplied by four cores in each block times the dimensions of each piece as 0 0.075 by 0 0.2 by 0 0.075 meter, and that is computed as 5.16375 cubic meters. With class B mixture, cement is estimated as the volume times 12, resulting to 61.97 bags. Sand is the volume by 1 or 5.17 cubic meters. Lastly, the plaster is taken for both faces of the wall, including the columns. We know that the height of the wall to be plastered is 3 meters but the length can be broken down into parts. From the illustration, the front and back faces can be taken as the 30 meter length, but there are sides of the column which also needed plastering. The end columns also have the end edge of 0.3 meter and the excess part in the interior, which can be computed as the whole size of 0.3 meter less the wall thickness of 0.125 meter leaving the column length for plastering as 0 0.175 meter. So the whole length of the wall can be computed as the full 30 meters multiplied by 2 for both faces, plus the end column's face which is computed as 2 end columns times the dimensions of 0 0.3 plus 0 0.175 or that is 0 0.95 meter. There are also nine interior columns with both exposed sides for plastering, which results to 3.15 meters. The total length is computed as 64.1 meter, and the volume for plastering is taken as the whole length of 64.1 meter times the height of the wall, which is 3 meters, and the thickness of the plaster, given as 16 millimeters. The result is 3.0768 cubic meters. So with class B mixture, we multiply the volume with 12 to get 36.93 bags of cement. And the sand is taken as 3.08 cubic meters.